Hi guys, this is Tara Norton at the Canvas Creations Company and this is a video on how to create lettering with Crayola pens. So I've got my Crayola pens which are just there and this was actually quite um, a cheap packet. It was £10, it was 9 99 from Hobbycraft and you get all these colours. Um, a really nice variety, fantastic for blending when you're getting on to blending um, but this is a really good set for um, beginners, it's a very basic set, it's only £10 and you get all these colours so it's a really good start off. Um, they are chunkier um, than your normal brush pens but they give a really lovely effect and to practice with it's um, they're really really great. So I'm going to move this piece of paper away and I'm going to get a new one. I'm going to pick a pen, so let me have a look, I'm going to pick this one, because it's a very pretty colour, and when I've done work with this, um, you, it does actually have the name of the um, colour on here, which is always helpful. Whenever you're doing a project, um, or you want to recreate a project, it's great to keep a log of what colour's what, and these actually have colour names on these ones. So this is Petite Rose. Sorry, the, the sun's gone in, so the video's gone very cloud, but very dark. Very cloud? I don't know what I'm on about today. So, let's start off. So you can do your thick down and thin up. basics of a letter in see it's so easy to do they're really great pens And like I said, they're really good for blending. So when you're ready to start blending your colours, um, you're confident enough to. They're, they're brilliant for um, blending. So I'm, I'm kind of doubly concentrating because I'm, I'm holding the paper with my, my, my wrist. <laughs> So thick down, thin up, so easy to do with these. There you go, and it, they're so lovely on the paper, they're very watercolory, so it's, it's, um, it gives it a lovely effect, watercolory. That's my technical term there for you. <laughs> so that was, what did we say that colour was? Petite Rose. So it's a beautiful colour. So you can, do, you can do plenty with them. They're really, really, really great. Really great for blending. And I keep saying that, but they are. Um, and I'm going to show you the black. I don't know whether you've seen the um, Do Crafts Artiste video when I was showing you those. That was the first pen set that I got. Um, the black in there um, wasn't a true black. Um, it was very kind of, I'll use it again, watercolory. Um, and the blacks, the this this black, the Crayola black, is probably the worst black for it being a true black. Um, it's it's more grey than it is black. <laughs> Um, it's actually called 
Toy Poodle Black, if that's a colour. <laughs> um, so I'll show you, I'll show you, you can make your own opinion. So. Got it, guys. Save the bees. <laughs> For you guys that have seen my other videos, seen my other social media, you'll know I'm very fond of bees. They are endangered, so they do need protecting and look after in. So as you can see with the colour, it is quite washy, um, let me try and move the light a bit, so I've put the light on so the, um, because the sun's gone in, um, so I'm going to try and get it so you can see it a bit better, there we go, so it is a bit, it is a bit watery, um, it actually looks darker on the video than it, it does in, in real life. <laughs> um, but it, it is quite washy. It's not the, the best black that I've seen. But Crayola pens as a whole are fantastic. You get all these colours. $9.99. You can't really argue with that. They are fantastic. So, I hope you like this video, I hope it's been helpful and informative. If you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, queries, whatever you want to ask me, I'm always here to answer these, those questions. So please leave comments, see me on my other social media, um, and see you again. Bye guys!